Okay, hi everyone, I'm Peter Sandin. Uh, one of the most common questions people have is how to get more appointments, although they might ask it in different ways. It might, might be how to get more people to schedule a strategy call or come to the store or something else, like appointment can mean a lot of things. Uh, people seem to more often have a trouble getting appointments than closing them. So I thought I would ask the guy, out of all the marketing people I know, the one person who does this best, this specific thing, getting appointments is, is really what he's known for, what he's done for very large clients, even clients like Microsoft and other like major brands. Um, and one thing that, that kind of separates what he does from a lot of different systems and, and processes for getting appointments is that it's not like cold calling someone. You've, you've first sent a pushy email for saying, hey, I have a great product. I'm going to call you tomorrow to sell it to you. Like it, It's really based on building relationships pe with people so that they actually want you to tell what you can help them with. And that's it's not a, like a completely novel idea, but very few people... Uh, have ever come up with a like actual process for it that's very consistent and gets people through the door or to the Skype call or whatever you do in a very consistent way without you putting in a lot of hours all the time to maintain the system. Um, I met Josh, I don't know, maybe a year ago or so uh, through a mutual friend who runs a big marketing company and we were both invited to this small uh, mastermind event and, and he was one of the very few people there who I really wanted to keep in contact with because we both want marketing and selling to be actually like friendly not not pushy but the, the the whole idea is that let's let's make people see the value we have to offer them make them feel good about it so that if they want it they buy it it's it's fairly simple but it it takes away a lot of the hesitation that a lot of people have especially people who contact me because like since i don't hard sell things people who contact me usually are quite averse to selling as well so um Josh, you could tell a little bit more, uh, more about you, what you do and how you got started in this specific area, because it's not like you would always have been in marketing. Right. No, I didn't. I was not born into marketing. That is true. But uh, Peter, it's good to catch up with you as well, man. It's been too long. So I, um, I'm the, the founder and CEO of a company called Linked Selling. We help businesses generate appointments and, and lead and more clients using online tools like LinkedIn, Facebook, and, and email. Um, and the way that I got started in all this was that I worked for a construction company that I was a CFO of that closed in 2009. At that time, I was really faced with the decision, do I want to go find another job or do I want to start my own thing? And I'd, I'd been itching to kind of go out on my own for quite a while and decided, you know, what better what better time than give it a shot. So I did, and I didn't know what I wanted to do really, though. So I thought, well, I guess I'll just get, you know kind of be a consultant. And I called myself an outsourced CFO. Um, and at first, uh, it was a little scary, you know, I, like when you're just starting a new business and you're just sitting at home for that first day, and you're just kind of wondering, like, what should I do? And and I started trying some of the social media tactics that you know at the time, and still there are some people kind of spouting about these tactics today uh, that everyone said you should be doing like you know you should be on Twitter posting funny snarky comments and engaging with your audience and you know uh, the content marketing and blogging was a, just a huge topic at the time and just you know it was really this kind of strategy of just post good stuff out there and people will just come to you. I tried doing that and it just wasn't working and I just realized like you know what the, the business owner and the so people that I'm trying to reach and that I'm trying to do business with, they're not paying attention to this stuff. They're just not. So I figured, you know what, I need a different system to use than this. And, and I set out to design one. So at the same time, had another kind of parallel situation going on where I was doing kind of the offline stuff that people say you should do, like going and having coffees and lunches with people. And it wasn't working for me either. I found that it was just most of the time a waste of time. I was meeting with people and it was just unproductive and the majority of these folks just weren't my prospects and it was available because I could only meet with so many people at a time. So I thought, you know, what can I do to leverage some of these online tools to get in front of not just, you know, a couple people a day, but to really position myself as, a, as an expert at what I do and start connecting directly with lots of ID clients and, and really building a system to nurture those people through to the point where they'd be open to talk talking business with me and um, it was really when I started using LinkedIn and started going out and connecting with prospects that things started working for me and it was largely because of LinkedIn 
and that I was able to get my first couple of clients and, and kind of keep the lights on and be able to pay the bills when I was first starting my business. And so I continued using LinkedIn pretty aggressively and, and doing really cool things with LinkedIn and really refining the system that I had started developing for my business when in 2011 I had a couple clients that I was helping with finance stuff who said, you know, Josh, we've seen some of this stuff on LinkedIn. Do you think that would work for us too? And so uh, one of them specifically, I said, yeah, I think this would be a home run for you guys and here's kind of what I would recommend that you do. And then we don't we don't really have a clue what you're talking about, so how about you just do this for us? And, and um it was really a light bulb moment for me because I realized, wow, there maybe there's some other businesses out there that need, need help with this. And you know, just because I was active in the business community, I really quickly realized like that absolutely is the case because there are so many businesses out there and business owners who are just struggling to get run enough prospects, you know, and to keep the pipeline coming in, to keep you know clients coming in. The same, same problem I had when I was starting my business is the same problem so many business owners have out there uh, today. And, and has been the case for a long time. So um, our business uh, you know, has really taken off since that first client. Uh, we have companies uh, that have hired us from all world in all sorts of industries, and um, we also have a uh, training program we've developed over the last few years. I think over six thousand students and business owners have our training programs where we've helped them implement these systems for themselves and for their business. And um, you know, it's been a lot of fun. Okay, cool. Um, before you tell kind of the overall framework that you use for generating appointments, um, can you go through a few of the most common reasons people struggle to do it right or, or to get, like even though they're, they sure. might be trying everything they hear and live, hear people tell, yeah. okay, you just do these things and nothing seems to work. So what are kind of the problems right. people run into? Right, right. Well, I think there's, there's a couple things. Um, one is that people are just, pitching too quickly you know they'll they'll go out they'll use these online tools and they forget that you know you're still dealing with people and you have to develop you have to build a relationship it's like you wouldn't go to a networking event and just start sticking your card in people's faces and telling them how great all your products and services features and benefits and all that kind of stuff i mean there Although are people some people that do, do that, do that. <laughs> some people do it but you know they're the kind of people that everybody wants to avoid i mean when you're when you encounter that kind of Person at an event, a meeting, whatever it might be, like you can't wait to get away from that person. You know, it's how the most people I know can't stand that kind of person. <laughs> you know, yeah. So, but unfortunately, online people, for some reason, a lot of people at least feel like that way to use these tools to just go out and find you know some prospects that look like they a good fit, and then you know just basically send them a pitch for why they should consider working with you. And it's just not going to work. I mean, very in very, very rare circumstances will it work. For most people, it doesn't work at all. And then they think, well, this stuff just doesn't work for me. And it's not that the tools don't work. It's that your process for leveraging these tools is going to be ineffective. And I realized that from the get-go when I was building these systems because I just knew, you know, working as an outsourced CFO back in 2000, I knew that – if I just reach out to some business owners and say, hey, here's what I do and who I am, would you be interested in talking? That I knew they would not go for that. It wouldn't work because I just knew that like that's not the kind of thing that you just pitch somebody. You have to help a relationship. That they have to trust you you know, to, to get to the point where they would consider hiring you. And it's like that in almost every business. you yeah. know. And so I that's one of the real keys where people are making a mistake is that they're they're not looking at the long game they're not looking at the bigger picture and they're going they're going for the kill too quickly um, now the other thing that I see is that people don't have a way to stand out you know people for the most part just don't have systems in place to really position themselves as a, a peer a leader an authority in whatever industry that they are target whatever market they serve and because of that their prospects look at them as just other you name it you know if you know, it's differentiation is, is you know a word that comes to mind you know they're they're just the same as everybody else now they might be different they might be they're, the quality of what they do may be better you may just you know your clients love you that kind of stuff but you with these online tools you have to have a way to 
through to prospects and get them to open up to you in order to start the dialogue and even get to build the relationship. And so it's really key that they see you when you first start approaching them just as another, you know, me too, another fish in the sea, but a real uh, appeal to them and, and an authority and a leader in your market so that when they see your information, through they think oh I mean this looks like this looks like somebody that could add some value to my world this looks like somebody I could benefit from being connected to you know and that's a huge part of the process well and where a lot of people are going wrong you know one if you're just let's let's throw out a random example if you're a financial advisor and you're just uh, going on LinkedIn and trying to randomly connect with people that you're gonna but it's gonna be tough because they're gonna have their guard up you know they're gonna think well, here comes Somebody to try and sell me something, and so it, it a lot of it comes down to that positioning. How you get your foot in the door in the first place comes down to really making sure you position yourself properly. So these prospects you're reaching out to, they don't they don't have that guard up, and instead they think yeah, there's somebody that I could see benefiting from being connected with. Yeah, I, I see that happen all the time, even in the clients that I get. That they, especially other professional marketers who who hire me for some stuff. They almost always say that the reason they hired me is that they know me already. We're, we're, even right. if we're not like close friends, they still know me somehow. They've seen like what I can do and what I've done to others. And that's why sure. they feel like good about asking initial questions. They don't usually just come, hey, I want to give you money to do this. Like that's, that's rarely the conversation. That's what happens in right. a grocery right. store. People come there and like, okay, I want this apple. Here's a dollar. Like, it, it doesn't happen right. in other types of businesses too often. So it, it's really yeah. about building a relationship, even if you don't necessarily talk with them all individually at first. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so um, kind of the big picture, what's, what are, what's the process? What's the framework? Sure. What are the steps people need to go through uh, that, that you teach sure. them to go through? Sure, absolutely, man. So um, that I just talked about is really focused on, um, you know, how do you get your foot in the the door in the first place and that is really just the the first step right because just just getting your foot in the door you know developing a, a database having that list in place is is great but then what do you do with it right and so um, my new book that's coming out as I know you know it's called booked and it, it really goes through the entire process for what we do for our clients and all the way through really nothing held back including like scripts and and everything so I would for anybody listening to this to get a copy, um, we can talk about that later though. Essentially what it comes to is that we found that there is a way to systematically develop and build relationships with, with prospects in, in scale, I guess you could say, or in quantity. More so than you could do, more so than you can achieve physically in an offline type of, well, unless you have the ability to host a you know, conference with thousands of people attending. People don't though, um, or the budget to do that. So, you know, it really comes down to this: that once you've got somebody in your database, whether it's on LinkedIn, Facebook, or whatever it might be, design a campaign that is going to, to position you as somebody that they know, like, and trust. And we've all heard that before: know, like, like, and trust. But it's it's really true to get somebody to open the door to you and to be willing talk business with you to sign up for a strategy session to you know agree to that sale to to get on the phone with you to talk business you know they have to you have to have a little bit of relationship established unless you just have something that is just so smoking hot that you can just people hey this is what I do would you be interested in talking about it and they'd be like oh my god I've never heard of that I, I want it to you but that almost never is the case <laughs> even if you think yeah <laughs> Your business <laughs> a is lot that of people amazing. think that yeah, my business is yeah. just like that. People just don't understand it. <laughs> and if you think that's the case, give it a, give it a try. But don't burn through all, all of your prospects. <laughs> all right, just do a little bit of a sample size, and then you'll see. Wow, that didn't work very well. And then kind of go this route that I'm talking about here. But what I found was that you know, there's this there's this classic approach called drip marketing, where you essentially you know, most people when they think of drip marketing, they think of uh, like email marketing. So you you would like send uh, you know drip marketing. Oh, well, thanks. I got I got a water. <laughs> you would you would send uh, you know a, a series of emails so that you know your your prospect 
be getting these 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 drip marketing campaigns, these messages over and over, so that consistently over time, you're you're really warming yourself up to them, and they think of you and one that's really top of mind with them, right? But these days, everybody does that, and you know, being on somebody's email list and getting a promotion emails about you know their landscaping services over and over and over and over and over again people aren't it's just not adding value to their world uh, and also it's clearly you're just a marketing machine so what we found works exactly well is to take kind of the basic framework of that process and use it within places like LinkedIn and Facebook and do two things differently than what that example I just shared includes. And those two things are one, one send these messages personally, one-on-one -on -one to people. And number two, instead of talk, talking about yourself all the time, share valuable resources that your prospects will actually get value out of, right? And so it's really a, a change in thinking. You're not talking about yourself all the time. You're thinking about what do my, my prospects care about and you're sharing information that you can curate you don't have to create any, any of this on your own. you can just share this stuff with them send them a message every few weeks got hey I've came across this case study I thought you might be interested in it you know um, hey there's this uh, conversation going on in this group that I'm in that I really thought that you might you know get some value out of and just adding value to them and building the relationship like that and almost nobody does it People aren't. Many people aren't willing to do it because of you know. It just it's there's a, these are one, one personal messages, you know. And so you think, well, how could I possibly, you know, make that efficient enough to to make it work? Well, with the processes we've developed, and I talk about in the book, most of our students and the people that are working our systems can in a half hour a day get some amazing results. I talked to somebody, uh, a guy named Dan Demers, who's been in our program a few months. He spends twenty minutes a day, four days a week executing this kind of a system to where he's continually connecting with new prospects on Facebook and LinkedIn and then working them through messaging campaigns that essentially culminate in a request for a strategy session or an invitation to a strategy session. And he's gone in a few months from kind of his business not being right really where he wants it to be to now five figures a month and, and you know, looking now at, at moving up to becoming a seven figure business and adding a couple people to team you know and so the process can be done efficiently uh, but it can also be done in in scale and done in a way that's personal and one-on-one -on -one and nature um, so the messaging process is a big part of it but at the same time it's all about positioning yourself as an authority and a leader somebody that people will, will really actually want to talk to will be really open to developing this kind of a relationship with because you're going to be seen in their eyes as real player in your industry and the mechanism that we use to achieve that is what we call an authority leadership platform right? which is a, a group or a community that you create and we teach our, our students how to do it in a really strategic way it's all about your prospects it's all about your clients not about yourself and create this kind of a community like this and it can be done it, again really systematically it up and running really quickly. It doesn't take a whole lot of work. Um, when you do this, people really want to be a part of it and they stay tuned in for the long haul because it's a good resource, valuable for them. And that positions you really, uh, I mean, just head and shoulders above all the other competitors that are out there always just talking about themselves. And it opens doors with prospects that you would have never before imagined would have even given you the time of day. Yeah, it's like... If you think of like just yourself getting a random email from someone whose list you're on, you like if they have actually used a similar system of like just delivering genuinely interesting content all the time, sure you will read it. But very few people do that. It's it's yeah. ridiculous how rare it is. Uh that, like whenever I sign up to someone's email list for whatever reason, I, I don't actually anymore expect much. I'm very surprised if someone does it well, because it's so unusual that people would... They, they understand yeah. maybe the part about, okay, make it valuable for, for the readers. That's not quite enough it, if it doesn't feel at all actually personal. And that's, I think, one of the main differences and main benefits of doing this over LinkedIn or Facebook or some other systems where you actually can connect with individuals, not just a list yeah. of individuals. It right. changes 
changes the situation quite a bit. And it might sound like a lot of work, but I'd be surprised if someone couldn't do it in half an hour a day and even outsource it to an assistant or someone like... So it, it can be very systematized, even though it might sound like a huge amount of work, but it, it really isn't. It's just understanding how to systematize it, which people don't necessarily know. I, I do get those types of emails too and LinkedIn messages from clearly outsourced personal connections. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot of that stuff going on out there and and I think one of the one of the keys too is is uh, you know, when you're doing this when you're using these tools like like Facebook and LinkedIn and it, it comes across as so personal like you said. I mean, that that is a huge reason why it works and people's inboxes are not nearly as crowded on LinkedIn, Facebook as they are in their email inbox. Now, I say that for the reason that obviously, you know, your message on LinkedIn it's going to stand out. It's going to be read. Gatekeepers aren't usually, you know, take care of LinkedIn inboxes. So, like, your the message is going to get through. But we still re recommend people actually use email as well because there's a, you know, uh, everyone's heard of the kind of marketing mix, right? And, um, you know, I like to tell people that because there's no, you, know, you don't want to have a marketing one thing. <laughs> you want to have a marketing mix. You want to be reaching your person where they can be found and so if, if, if when anytime somebody comes to me and says LinkedIn I'm just gonna do LinkedIn and that's it I say great well that's a good place to start but you want to also be thinking sure about what other places can your prospects be reached to and that's why we help our clients with not just you know LinkedIn but we've started also helping them with Facebook and email as well because we know that if, if we can really tie these things together effectively that which is what we do you know, we're going to increase the the total response rate. We're going to increase the the number of leads and appointments that we're generating. I mean, for example, if you work a prospect through our system using LinkedIn, the 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 system that we teach in the book, and then you get to um, what we call our our fifth pillar of the, which is our email blueprint, and then you layer that on top of what you're doing within LinkedIn or Facebook, you get an extra ten to twenty percent of appointments by doing that. And it's simply because you're making extra touches. You know, so it's just more of the drip marketing, but it's also because you're 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 hitting people in in different channels. You can that that they can best be reached in, and so some folks are going to be better reached on email than LinkedIn. And so it's just going that extra mile uh, that that can really, you know, it can go ten twenty percent increase in in the results. Yeah, and this this isn't just unique to like let's say high price or high end services in the business world. This same thing applies to practically any type of business where people maybe not like if you have a huge toothache maybe you don't like go to LinkedIn to like find a doctor you know unless they've somehow like that might not be the perfect situation but like if if you'd be a dentist who wants to sell like other stuff not just like immediate help then it actually right. works so it, it even if the even if it doesn't sound like you could apply these same things to a lot of different situations. It actually works. The principles work just the same way. <clears throat> the examples and, and the exact way of executing the things are just slightly different. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, um, the book, tell me a bit more about it. I haven't gotten to read it yet. I hope I get to read it today or tomorrow or very soon. Yeah, absolutely, man. So it's uh, the book comes out February 8th. Not exactly sure when you'll be releasing this interview but um, it is the entire system that um, you know we implement for our clients and it, it's it's five uh, modules essentially five pillars that we teach that um, we go into you know depth of, and, and like I said every step of the process is what you need to do as well as different scripts but just the tactical also the, the philosophy and the bigger picture of, of you know why it works so it was important to me to have a book that really balanced those two. There's a lot of books out there that talk about the the big picture and the why, but they don't actually get into the well, well how do I do it? You know, and so there's really a great combination of the two of those. Uh, it's a I think it's a fun book to read. Some pretty, you know, um personal stories that I've never shared before in the book as well. Uh and you know, at the end of the day, it's just a, it's a book that I wanted to write because um, I think it can help a lot of people. You know, our business uh, has has done well over the last few years because we've helped a lot of other businesses do really well. There was um, there was a long time that I really held this stuff pretty close to the vest. 
Uh, and I didn't share all of our strategies this open transparently. Um, but, you know, things have changed and I've, I've re realized that, um, you know, my priorities are a little bit different, I guess you could say. So I think that if I can just get this the book in the hands of, you know, one business owner that is having trouble getting in front of enough prospects right now and getting the phone to ring and getting clients in the door and on the, you know, the cat roller coaster as I call it, you know, if this book can help just one person, it, it really makes it wor worth it. Um, I think it's going to help a lot more people than that. So hopefully you can link it up on yeah, this I'll, I'll or, or something like that. I'll put the link the video or into the description. Uh, so what does All it right. cost? <laughs> uh, well, for a few days, it's going to be free. Yeah. So we're, we're trying to get it in the hands of, of many people as possible. And so for just a few days from, I think, the 8th through the 11th, going to be a hundred percent free so just click the link below the video and uh, uh you'll get instructions on how to get your copy okay um if anyone has any questions they can send it send it to me i'll, I'll ask from josh if, if i don't know the answer to it or I, maybe I'll, I'll share your contacts somewhere as well just look below the video um but hey josh thanks for having doing this it was great to talk with you I, and i think a lot of people can get a sense of what type of system you're talking about and get the details in the book if, if they don't get enough from this. Absolutely, man. Thanks for having me, Peter. Okay, thanks. Bye.